Elon Musk, Tesla and SpaceX have signed another gigantic sweet battery deal. It could be the biggest reason for Tesla having enormous success with its electric vehicles portfolio in the last couple of years. Although the company has hinted to the public through its CEO Elon Musk that it's now well positioned to exploit a significant opportunity. Interestingly enough, they have recently concluded the paperwork on this one. What could this mean for Tesla? Let's find out how exactly it can benefit Tesla. The president of Indonesia, Joko Widodo, also known as Jokowi, traveled to the United States, where he went to meet Elon Musk at the SpaceX launch site in Boca Chica, Texas. This meeting was after a round of working-level conversations about a prospective investment in Indonesia's nickel sector and the supply of batteries for electric cars. Jokowi invited Elon Musk to visit Indonesia after seeing the SpaceX rocket manufacturing plant. Musk spent an hour showing the president around SpaceX's rocket manufacturing site in Boca Chica. According to the Asian local media, Jokowi said that Musk would hopefully visit Indonesia in November when he plans to host the 2022 G20 Bali Summit. The summit will bring together 19 of the world's largest economies and the European Union, including Germany, Canada, Russia and China. Musk also stated there may be room for partnerships in many things because Indonesia has potential. So, how this new deal is going to benefit Tesla and Musk? Here is how. On the one hand, Jacobi is eager to see Indonesia create a nickel-based EV sector. Indonesia has the world's largest nickel reserves. Jacobi is keen on developing a nickel-based EV industry at home from nickel metal production to battery component manufacturing and electric vehicle assembly. He has also asked Elon Musk to explore launching rockets from his state. According to people familiar with the situation, Tesla personnel were in Indonesia last week to negotiate a prospective battery-related investment. Tesla's interest in Indonesia seemed to be confirmed by the billionaire himself. Musk said that partnerships in many things are possible since Indonesia has a lot of promise. Two recent agreements have given new impetus to Jokowi's push to develop an EV-related industry when global automakers are scrambling to secure battery materials and reduce their reliance on China. Last month, a consortium led by South Korea's LG Energy Solution, the world's second largest manufacturer of EV batteries, announced plans to invest $9 billion in Indonesia as part of a deal that includes everything from nickel refining to battery cell production in Indonesia. In April, LG's larger rival, China-based contemporary Amperex Technology, a Tesla supplier, announced its own investment in Indonesia as well. You may be wondering why nickel is so important and why Musk is interested in it. Well, nickel is a glossy, silvery white metal with a faint golden hue. It is a metal that's both hard and ductile. Pure nickel can be found in trace levels in the Earth's crust, often in ultramathic rocks and the interiors of nickel-iron meteorites that were not exposed to oxygen outside the Earth's atmosphere. Meteoric nickel is found in conjunction with iron, reflecting its origin as the primary end product of supernova nucleosynthesis. The outer and inner cores of the Earth are assumed to be made up of an iron-nickel combination. Nickel has been in use since 3500 BCE as a natural meteoric nickel-iron alloy. The iron ore limonite, which commonly includes 1-2% to nickel, is an economically significant source of this metal. Other notable nickel ore minerals include pentlandite and garnerite, a combination of nickel-rich natural silicates. But why is nickel so crucial to Tesla? Why is Musk being drawn to it? Now, here is the connection. It will interest you to know that nickel is an essential component in EV batteries. The high-grade nickel required for creating electric vehicle batteries is becoming rare due to the rising EV demand geopolitics, and a lack of fresh supply. In 2020, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, implored miners to please mine more nickel and promised a huge contract to anybody who could do it sustainably. The situation is critical. According to Goldman Sachs, 
the world faced a high-grade nickel shortfall in 2021, which would grow to over 800,000 tons by 2030. The scarcity is having an effect. Tesla hiked the price of cars with nickel-based batteries by $1,000 in March to account for rising raw material costs. In addition, the White House predicts that worldwide demand for nickel sulfate, a high-grade ore containing metal pure enough for batteries, will increase from 200,000 tons to 3 million tons per year by 2040. For the time being, the high-grade nickel supply is insufficient to keep up with a worldwide electric car population that's expected to rise from around 13 million now to 677 million by 2040. And what manufacturing does exist isn't always available to automobile and battery manufacturers in the United States. The transition to energy storage systems has been fueled by a massive increase in renewable energy resources, notably wind and solar. In the United States alone, wind and solar have accounted for more than half of all new generating capacity added in the last three years. Asia and Europe are also investing heavily in renewable energy. The problem is that the wind does not always blow and the sun does not always shine. This is why batteries are being used to absorb energy and release it when needed. This applies to batteries used in electric vehicles as well, which is the specialty of the well-known company, Tesla. Musk confirmed all of this in his tweet. Nickel is the biggest challenge for high-volume, long-range batteries. Australia and Canada are doing pretty well. US nickel production is objectively very lame. Indonesia is great. An electric battery comprises one or more electrochemical cells, each with two electrodes and an electrolyte. Electrons may move from one electrode to the other when connected by a route that conducts electricity. When a battery is used to create electric power, the anode provides electrons, which flow and give energy when linked via a circuit to an external device. This means nickel is a crucial component for the cathodes of several secondary battery types including lithium-ion. New nickel-based battery tech is also being used in energy storage systems connected to renewable energy sources. Wind turbines or solar panels create power when the wind or sun are available. Contemporary battery tech enables this energy to be stored for later use. And as automakers across the globe set ambitious objectives for car electrification, Many in the industry see nickel, an essential component in most batteries, as a significant impediment. While there is enough nickel in the ground to enable a substantial EV ramp-up, there are not enough proposed mining operations or processing facilities to provide the high-grade nickel required for the EV batteries. Could this be why Musk secretly signed the deal with the president of Indonesia? Yes, you heard that correctly. As we rightfully mentioned earlier, all underground work was done by Tesla officials, who went ahead of the president's visit to Indonesia. It throws more light for you to see that there was more to Jokowi's Boca Chica visit than meets the eyes. No official statement has been released, so for now, we will keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best for Tesla and other automobile makers. According to Mark Beveridge from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, more nickel means more energy density. He estimates that batteries account for somewhat 10% of the overall demand. However, this proportion is expected to rise significantly over the next several decades. He claims, if we go forward 10 to 15 years, we can see a future in which the battery industry may provide more than half of the need for nickel units. However, not all nickel is suitable for use in EV batteries. It must be class 1 nickel with at least 99.8% purity. No nickel is naturally this pure. It must all be purified. However, the greater the grade of the initial nickel deposit, the simpler and less energy intensive the process is. You know, in some of our grades, we found up to 12% nickel, which is pretty high internationally. Those are among the greatest grades I've ever seen in my career, said Talent's Chief Exploration and Operations Officer, Brian Goldner. Nickel sulfides are often located deep below the soil and mined underground. The
the United States now obtains most of its nickel sulfides from Canada, Norway, Australia, and Finland. However, there are few new sulfide mines in the works. Laterite, a lower quality but more common form of nickel ore located near the Earth's surface and mined by open pit mining, might provide more nickel. Laterites are drilled the most in Indonesia and the Philippines, although Australia and Brazil also have significant quantities. This goes to say that aside from Indonesia, there is every chance that Tesla may be looking to mine nickel from one or more of these countries. Are you impressed how fast and intelligently Elon Musk secures supplier deals for Tesla and SpaceX? Then check out this video on how Elon Musk gets his things done.